Hello and welcome. Uh, this is my 20-inch uh, Dobsonian telescope. As you can see, the mirror is pretty dusty. It's been a year since I last cleaned it. Um, so I'm going to give it a go and give it a clean. Um, just uh, pretty dusty, obviously a lot of accumulation. It's a open scope, so all the dust can get in there. The dust cap doesn't keep it all out, but uh, yeah, so... I'm just uh, undoing three bolts on the corners that hold the mirror in, just in case it tips forward when you lean it right over towards the horizon. So, just undoing them. It's a pretty heavy piece of glass, so just carefully lifting it up. It's nearly two inches thick. Beautiful piece of glass from Nicole Optical. All right, I just uh, use normal water straight out of the tap. With one drop of um, dish uh, dish cleaning uh, soap, just just one drop. I'll just do it in the shower and uh, put a bit of foam down first, just a bit of protection. Put it down and run sort of lukewarm over the mirror for a little while I use um, just normal cotton wool buds with uh, a little bit of eco over there just one drop will do And I use a cotton bud just for a little bit, not much, just because it will pick up some of the dust and you don't want to rub it around too much because you, you could scratch your mirror. This is how I do it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a professional. Just I've cleaned several mirrors over the course of about 12 years. And uh, I do this, uh, do this every year to this 20 inch. I'm just rubbing it down. Gently and just just under the weight of the the cotton wool bud. Really, don't put too much pressure on because you could rub the dust in and damage it. Just giving it a check over. Make sure I haven't missed any spots. Tip off the water, just check it again. <clears throat> All right, and then I uh, then I'm going to tilt it up so most of the rest of the water can run off, and then I'll rinse it down with distilled water, and that will stop you getting any soap suds or any uh, anything being left by the the water that comes out of the shower. Just rinse it down. And then, uh, then I take it to um, take it to a dry spot to properly dry out. Just sat on top of a towel leave it there for a while until I can't see any droplets and then uh, then it's ready to be installed. Just checking it over, making sure that there aren't any more, anything I've missed. 
you don't really want to put it back in and then realise that you've got to spray it all down again so you need good light to see so yes and that's it showing you with the getting a little bit closer with my ugly face right here's the mirror cell it's a uh, 187 27 point mirror cell Just a little bit overkill but I wanted to make sure it had proper support the mirror had proper support so it wouldn't warp or twist I'm just dropping it in one hand first and then letting it rest on it there's a strap at the bottom that goes under the mirror around the edge of the mirror uh, just to keep it from dropping down and then I just got to do up the three little bolts that were the there's like um little pegs that stick in front of the mirror on on an equal actual triangle just to like I said before just to just to ensure that if you tip it all the way over to the horizon it's not going to tip forward and drop out of the mirror box and using a spanner that close to a mirror is quite a uh, quite a worrying thing but uh, yeah it, uh, you just got to hold it tight and make sure you don't slip When I first started uh, using large Gobsonians, I was a little bit concerned about handling the mirrors, but now I'm, after doing it a long time and just being sure-footed and making sure you don't have anything lying around that you could trip over or anything that could fall off of you, you know, like a hat or glasses, or um, you, you get used to it and you, you're sure that you can clean it and handle the mirrors without damaging them. As I say, this is the way I do it, and other people might say that it might be wrong, but uh, I've not had any problems. None of the coatings are, have, have come off, and I get good results with the cleaning. You just have to be gentle and ensure that you don't damage it. So, uh, just a little, just show you how clean it is. Pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.